guys welcome back to the channel I am trip underscore HP junkie and this is my garage we do how to's on parts installs and today we have a set of Vans grips for Harley Davidson so these things come in a bunch of different colors uh, they actually come in one inch and seven eighths size and basically what it is is it's a traditional style grip uh, most of your Harley grips that you find on the throttle side are gonna have the spots for the tubes um, so you will need to buy a tube on this particular bike the 09 Dyna FXD already have a, a tube installed by G2 Motorsports but there's a bunch of companies that make them uh, build well uh, I think drag makes some um, drag specialties and there's a couple there's a bunch of other companies that make just a throttle sleeve that these grips will go on to um, it's just a traditional standard style grip uh, on either side so no two. So at the top here, I'll include, I do have a video on how to install that tube, the throttle tube on a traditional two cable Harley Davidson throttle tube style. Um, I'll put it up at the top there so you guys can link to that. But yeah, the first step we have to do is get the old grips off of here. Um, I kind of like these grips, so I'm gonna try not to cut them. So yeah, I already have a set of Biltwell, um, I forget the name of these, like Rustlers or something installed on here. And they've been great. They're, they're super sticky and everything. A couple of my friends have these Vans uh, grips and man, they get, they get really sticky and I like the way they feel. And they actually feel like they're a little bit smaller uh, outside diameter than these. These kind of feel kind of thick on my hands. So um, what we'll do first is we'll get these old grips off of here and then we'll talk about some different options as far as uh, lubricants or anything like that going back on. So cue the time lapse. So that's it. We got the grips uninstalled off of there. Now this is a closer look at G2 ergonomics quarter turn throttle tube. It, has, it, it is actually a uh, plastic tube um, open on the end. I don't know, maybe bar weight or something to help vibration. You could run that. Um, but yeah, there it is. So we'll get the other grips installed, the uh, Vans grips. And there's a couple different methods that I've seen over the years. Um, Personally, I've always put them on dry with, with no uh, grip glue or anything. They're a soft grip, so they're going to uh, tack up and, and hold pretty good from my experience on these Harleys. Um, there's a couple people that I've seen that use hairspray as a lubricant um, to spray in the grip. And that way when you put the grip on, it dries and you know doesn't stay lubricated all the time. You want to use something that that dries up, let's say like uh, brake clean or something that will evaporate um, over time. You don't want something like silicone or something that, that will stay grippy, especially, or that will stay um, lubricating in between the bar and the grip all the time. Because like, let's say on the left side that that grip's gonna be moving all over the place if you know it's not solidly put to the bar. So uh, what we're gonna try first is I'm gonna try to put them on there dry We'll see how it goes and you know, there's the method that I've used a bunch is, is just twisting while you're, while you're pushing in on the grip uh, to get those on. And you know, it takes a little work, but uh, it's a lot better than, than having grips moving on you when you're done. So hopefully this goes smooth, we'll see. <laughs> So there it is guys, grips all installed. And what I ended up using was a little bit of brake clean, just a little bit to get it to slide on there some so we could uh, twist and push. But <laughs> yeah, they're definitely a work uh, to put on like that. But um, after a couple minutes, it seems like it's starting to dry pretty good. Um, we'll give it a little bit. If not, we'll hit it, hit it with a heat gun or something to bring the temperature up and get it to cure and dry up all the way. 
Um, they were really tight, and I didn't feel like messing with it to uh, get them on. But yeah, they look good, man. They're super sticky um, compared to normal grips and even compared to the built well grips. So yeah, while we're out here in the garage, I do have some bunking rear shock sliders. These mount to the top bolt of the shock. And what we'll have to do to get those off is take the seat off and there's actually a stud or a bolt um, that comes all the way through here and we'll do them one at a time we'll have to get the bike up in the air to do that and get a jack underneath it and all that stuff but yeah we'll throw those on real quick That's it guys, we got the Bun King upper shock mount sliders installed. Um, they do have all the little spacers and nuts and bolts and all the hardware in the package to install it. And also got the Vans grips on there. Um, I think because there's patterns in them, it's driving me crazy because it's symmetrical on getting it straight, but um, we'll let it dry up a little more. I can already feel it getting way better, so. We'll let that dry up and yeah, I can't wait to try these guys out this weekend. Um, these things are super sticky. So now uh, we do have a couple more little tiny things to do on the Dyna before we hit the little uh, lot with uh, Craig and friends this weekend. Um, I do want to tighten up the throttle cable a little bit more, but, but yeah, that's it. I think the Dyna's ready for, for action, man. I can't wait to try out that tire hopefully not try out those and try out these grips i did move the bars back a little bit uh, just make me more relaxed hopefully that's the plan anyway so um, if you guys dig the content hit like comment and subscribe and let me know how i'm doing and appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next one take it easy